Now that we've discussed the theory for the network connections in the streams, we will now apply our knowledge and skills to the static packet capture file, file 2, pcapng. So as you see here, I have the file open. And once it's open, we first want to look for a UDP stream. We have a couple UDP packets here early in the capture. We want to look at the one that's representation of SSDP, which stands for Simple Service Discovery Protocol. We can find this at packet 59. So if I go here and go down to packet 59, I click on it as I did before, you see that it is UDP and it's SSDP, Simple Service Discovery Protocol. As you see down here in the middle window, it says Hypertext Transfer Protocol because it uses similar parameters. As you see, here's our user agent, that Google Chrome that we looked at before. So we can look here and analyze it this way, or Wireshark, being the powerful tool that it is, allows us the capability to follow the stream. So all we have to do is, is we click it, we just right click, follow, UDP stream. This will show us the entire conversation. And there is the ASCII text or the clear text of the entire conversation of the SSDP protocol. As you see here, Google Chrome version 52 running on Windows was the browser that made this SSDP request. So just in this simple technique, we've identified somebody running Google Chrome version 52. Now, if I was an attacker, I might go look for an actual vulnerability in this version of Google Chrome. But again, that's a topic for another time. So now if we close this, we want to actually clear our filter by clicking the X here. That brings us back to the normal thing. Now what we want to do is take a look at a TCP stream. To do this, we go to packet 17. So here's packet 17. And you just see here, I have a TCP send packet. And it's to an FTP server. All right, so now what we want to do is packet 18 and 19 is part of this connection. This is that connection we've been talking about for connection oriented. We have a SYN, a SYN ACK, followed by an ACK. This is what we call the three-way handshake. This takes place before any data can flow in TCP connections. So now that we have the actual TCP identified, we can right click the packet, follow TCP stream. As you see here, now we have the stream of data for that connection. And located within here in blue is what the server says, and what red is what the client sent. As we can see here, we have the username and password of the account being used since FTP, File Transfer Protocol, is one of those original protocols based on the principle of trust. Therefore, everything's in clear text. We also at the first line can see the version of the server that the machine is running. All of this are things that can be used if we were looking at this from the perspective of an attacker. It provides too much information onto the network. It's best to suppress this if possible. We can also see the port command. This is the method of how a file is transferred in FTP. Finally, we can see the file that the user has copied from the server. In this case, mail.gif, G-I-F. So all of this we found just by understanding how to use our skills and manipulate the data using the Wireshark tool and the user interface. Very powerful. Now you can see how exciting it is to see what's running on the network. Next up, we will continue with enhancing your skills and soon you will do a live capture of your own and be able to determine what's taking place on your network.